hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade and as you can see from that beautiful logo we are playing a Neo Geo arcade machine namely we are playing the original Samurai Showdown no W very important you know that there is no W in Samurai Showdown no matter how many times people tell you wow this game is loud let's kick that down a little bit shall we um, but the game itself, originally released in arcades, is known for several things. One, it's known for being the first proper Samurai one-on-one -on -one game. Probably more importantly though, it's also known as being bloody hard. This is one of the toughest arcade games I've ever played in my entire life. The game itself, um, originally released I believe in 1992, check my facts there, um, was made after the likes of Street Fighter and more and once again it's so heavily known for being insanely tough but also being incredibly innovative so without further ado let's get in the game so again what i quite like there's a tutorial do you remember any street fighter game that gave you a tutorial at the beginning they never happened something like this i think is essential in a lot of games particularly a game where there's been no other game like it don't get me wrong, this isn't Bushido Blade, this isn't incredibly technical, but it's nice to see that the game went to the trouble of including that information. Now, truth be told, I played this game once on a holiday in a very long time ago when I was a kid, so I have no idea how to play this, so this is going to be as much a learning experience for me as it will be a comedy to you if you already know about the game. But, let's get into the game, shall we? Alright, first thing first, let's get on this. Okay, standard Street Fighter protocol of moves. I quite like that camera zooming out. That's a nice feature. Okay, and standard Street Fighter blocking procedures. Ooh, lovely bit of damage. Have we got any other moves here that we can utilize? I see a power bar, but how that is, I'm not sure. Ippon, terribly Eastern. The music and the animations are fantastic. This game came out after Street Fighter 1 and 2, but before the likes of X-Men and uh, versus Street Fighter and more. It's a lovely um, work towards those graphics. Later on on the channel, of course, I look forward to showing you guys Capcom vs. SNK, um, where both characters from this and the um, King of Fighters series and Street Fighter all came together. Now, one of the things you may have noticed, maybe during the early stages of setup, is you can actually lose your weapon. Um, there is a super system in place, but again, I don't quite know how to form those super yet. But this is quite a garish and loud game. I quite like that. Ippon! He got me. Ippon! not racist is it? I don't think it's racist or xenophobic. What is your character Earthquake? That's quite cool. I haven't even noticed if this game has a recognised combo. Let's find out. I kind of wish I had the, the controls on screen. I also kind of wish I was playing up against someone who had a sword. That would feel a little bit more samurai than this nutter with a chain. Also, his jump is really starting to get on my tits. Wow, that was a ridiculously powerful throw. Let's see if we can get that fire ball out. Perhaps this game utilizes the power system. Wow, I cannot believe I lost that. I can hear you thinking, I, wow, that was gory as hell. Good God. I'm sure this has annoyed you watching me lose that battle. Don't worry, I'll do better next time, I promise. Okay, so at least then we would have worked out how to do one of the moves at least. So let's get that in there. And we will continue. The, one of the other characters that's quite notorious in this game, of course, is the chap that had the dog. Um, Hanzo uh, also appeared in other games later on. I don't know if you've heard of Hanzo that much, but let's give this ninja a rock. 
Right, I'll clean my teeth with you. Bit dark. Let's have a look. I like the rare. Saturn, I didn't see this coming. And everyone lost their stuff. Okay, so standard street fire maneuvers don't seem to be working with quarter circle, etc. I'm definitely faster than this other guy, but I'll be honest, the moves aren't as easy to deploy as Street Fighter. Um, whether that's just my poor skill or something that's universally recognised about this game, who knows? Let's carry on, let's see what we can see. At least we've got our weapons back this time. I'm curious how the game decided on that um, versus... Oh, wow, that was absolutely gross. Aha! Shuriken, finally! That throw is really starting to bug me now. Probably one of the biggest complaints I expect to see in the comments later on is I should do research on the moves before playing. And you're probably right. Hey, finally. Feels cheap, but... Victory! Okay, this chap in the background with the flags, does he lift them up? If they didn't, that is a waste. Okay, I've got a bow out of it. Not bad, not bad. I hope this game has bonus spaces as well. Um, straight away, the graphics on this are very nice indeed. They're very fluid, um, there's no dropped frames, and the hitboxes seem first class. I think in most games you can identify poor hitboxes when it's a jump attack. Okay, I don't know what this guy... Let's pause this guy and let's talk some facts and trivia. So, once again, Samurai Showdown, no W, a number of times I've spelt that wrong, was also known by another name known as Samurai Spirits, depending on where in the world you purchased it. It's a release by SNK for their arcade system, uh, the Neo Geo arcade system, and indeed their home console uh, version, and ported to other systems later on. This version was released in 1992, and was eventually released on so many systems for a game that I think has never really broke the public uh, consciousness the same way Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and games like that did. This was released on Arcade, Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD, 3DO, Game Gear, Game Boy, Master System, Mega Drive, Sega, CD, SNES, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Wii, PlayStation 3, and I believe there is even a purchasable version uh, on PlayStation 4 on their uh, own online store. But that is a huge number of releases for a game that's never really broke the first tier. The people that have played it and enjoy it will unquestionably say this is a tier one game. But it, it, it just, I just can't accept that. It's always lived there on the surface at tier two. Much like Knuckles in Sonic and Knuckles. Just something that's known by people that follow it, but it's never really quite got from Division One in or and then into the Premiership. Now, again, this game is very well known for its difficulty. And there's actual uh, updated version of this where they made the game harder. Um, one of the main reasons in which the game is so hard and the way it was developed in that way is because the CPU is designed to never let you stand still. Most games work on a reactive or proactive system. So a lot of games you may have played as a kid, if you let go of the controls and you just put them down, stop using them, the AI wouldn't quite know how to react. It would sort of walk up to you a little bit, back, forth, maybe a jab, walk back, forth, throw, but if you were being aggressive, the behavior would adapt accordingly. A game like this, however, if you don't press anything, the AI will just keep attacking you. It's designed not to give you that much time and space. And it's one of the main ways in that sense of unpredictability that uh, Samurai Showdown was so, so popular for avid arcade buffs and those that wanted to really show their skills, not just in combos, but more. Um, on top of that, um, if you completely overpower your foe, they temporarily lose their weapon, as you've seen on screen. But if And they need to retrieve it. But if you, it's actually possible to destroy some weapons. Uh, but once you're unarmed, it doesn't matter, because you can still use your fists and still catch 
an opponent's sword with your hands. A lovely feature. And the fact that's been included in this game is brilliant. And that turns into a throw, by the way, and they lose their weapon. <clears throat> now, once again, this, this game was released on a multitude of systems. The list is truly astounding. But none of them have ever lived up to the grace of the arcade version. This is one of the few games released at that time period that never made it onto the Sega Saturn. Most purely, like, desired arcade beat-em-up games made it onto the Saturn because the Saturn to this day is still one of the best arcade um, uh, copied platforms where they've ported a game over from an arcade onto a home console that's ever existed. There's so many good games on there. The palette structure is just fantastic. I'm not selling the Sega CD, Mega CD even, um, the Neo Geo and all those other consoles but for its time and the controller the Sega Saturn was where it was at. So let's get back into the game shall we? Let's see what this one leg nutter uh, with a stick has to say for himself. Okay, apparently he has pain to say for himself. I'm sure a number of you watching this video are probably thinking, why on earth aren't you pulling off such and such move? I may have chosen a bad character here. Woo! This is at the throw out. Whoa. Did anyone see the damage that move made? Unbelievable! E boom! Yep, totally. Totally not xenophobic if I say it. I heard him say it and everything. Who <coughs> can though? Might have even been the Ninja Gaiden. Uh, say no. Oh, I love the sound effects in this. You heard that the slicing sound effects are just first. Am I getting choked by some geezer's hair? This attack is going on for way too long. Oh, I've got a wall jump. That's nice to know. Anyone familiar with Vega and such? We'll know the versatility of a good wall throw. I'm hoping we're going to be live streaming Street Fighter 2 shortly. Um, doing a playthrough there um, with, a, with corresponding difficulty. And that will be on the original Street Fighter 2 World Warrior Edition. But, here you go, Hanzo. You did the business. I'll be honest, I'll be enjoying playing with Hanzo. Um, it'd be nice to see what the other characters have in store, to be honest. Actually, let's, let's see who we're up against here. And little bit disappointed there. Um, wow, great, great graphics there with the rain there. And the sound effects as well. We take for granted these days with CD-based systems how easy it is to not only have high quality sound but having it run without the system um, suffering in any way. Something that, whoa, that was savage. How big was that jump? Right, Wham, let's see what you got, mate. I would have thought I could throw one of those through the air, but never mind. See again, uh, the game itself, I like that camera structure as you move out and things get bigger. That's something you don't really see in games a lot. It saves you being restricted within that box. And the music's very nice as well. You know what, I've only really taken the time to appreciate the music now, but it's quite compelling. It has that slight speed up structure. Oh, he's lost his weapon. Oh, there we go, victory. And do you know what? I think I'm going to end things there. If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you want to see another game on this channel, 
maybe see what you know what we think of it, maybe get a conversation going, who knows? But otherwise, looking forward to playing it. But in the comments down there the game you want to see. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, here we go. We've got a bonus stage. Right, let's see what this is. One, two, three, let's rock. Okay, don't like the hit detection there. Awful. All things are going off badly. I'll be honest, I'm massively disappointed by the hit detection on that one, but otherwise, again, thanks for watching.